So the reason why I had you do that exercise was just to give you an idea of how theory works. So theory is just a way of explaining human behavior. Um, so when I asked you to come up with excuses, or yeah, come up with excuses as to why students don't get their work in on time, that's a kind of human behavior, right? So we generated this, this long list of excuses, and then you were able to see how in this particular study they categorized those excuses. So theory then is a way of you know coming up with all this data, um, generating information about human behavior, and then merely organizing it in an effective and manageable way. Um, so just to sort of give you a, a definition of theory, is theory is a statement of how and why specific facts are related. Again, um, a statement of how and why specific facts are related. In trying to understand social phenomena, um, uh, social structures, we have to first generate the data, generate the, um, the information first, and then organize it in a meaningful way, and then basically explain, right, what's going on here. So a theory is a statement of how and why specific facts are related. Our social theory emerged as a way of, you know, reasoning through what people saw. It, it emerged in the Enlightenment era, um, in the 1700s, um, again, people were, were looking at what was going on in the world and wanted to come up with explanations. So it really comes out of this environment of reason and scientific investigation and the rise of individualism. And during this time, especially, you know, in the 1700s and 1800s, there was a lot going on in terms of changes, a lot of economic changes, cultural and political changes that really made people perhaps concerned or at least interested in why are things changing so rapidly and, and what sort of going to happen in the future. So there was a real need then to explain the changes that were occurring around them at that time. Theory is really important because it provides a systematic framework to understand the world. Again, um, like I said earlier, it's just a way of explaining why and how something's occurring, giving people a framework to isolate what's the most important thing about this, this social reality. Um, and it's used in a study as a way of saying this is what we're interested in and this is how we're going to explain it. So theory is a very sort of systematic way of, of explaining things. Um, theory accomplishes three things. First, it, it provides a generalization and classifications of the social world. And so in that exercise that you just did, you know, how do we explain for um, excuses that people make? What sort of the generalizations that we can that we can make about it? And again, with, with social research, we're we're always starting with the data first. We always sort of collect the information, collect what's out there first, and then come up with the theory, so that we can you know provide accurate generalization. If one student had this one excuse, that probably wouldn't be as viable as say a thousand students. Um, from, you know, a hundred different schools in, in, in LA. You know, that would give us a little bit more uh, credibility in our research. The second thing that theory accomplishes is that it's usually grounded in real, measurable, and empirical data. So it's, it's, it's grounded in, say, interviews or surveys, um, observations of maybe uh, the classroom or interviews with students or teachers surveys that we might give out, all of that is sort of the data that we use um, from, like I said, from the very beginning. And then out of that, we can then do the third thing that theory accomplishes, and that, that is it explains phenomena, causality, and processes by their effects. Um, really what we're trying to, to look at is um, what can we observe about human behavior? What can we hear about it in terms of interview data? When people try to explain for why they do what they do, this is this is sort of what we're, we're trying to get at, and then collect that and then organize it in a meaningful way. Um, so again, I, I provide you a definition, where theory comes from, why it's important, and then what it accomplishes.